what's acceptable for politicians and what's not. A public mind poll conducted at Fairleigh Dickinson University asked respondents about the ethics of helping political allies by passing legislation or contacting government agencies on their behalf or funneling state money to their businesses or accepting large gifts and vacations from them. It found the majority, regardless of whether they were Democrats or Republicans, said all actions were unacceptable. But when asked specifically about the indictment of Senator Robert Menendez on corruption charges, the answers changed. Professor Dan Casino, who directs experimental research, analyzed the poll. Thank you for being with us, Professor. It's my pleasure. When asked, um, people were when people were asked directly if they think Menendez is guilty, Republicans far more likely to think he's guilty than Democrats. How does that compare to when residents are asked about accepting gifts from supporters when no specific politician is mentioned? Well, this is what's really interesting. In general, when we ask about corruption, we find the responses are very, very partisan. Uh, Republicans think whatever Republican politicians do is okay. Democrats think whatever Democratic politicians do is okay. And so what we did was we tried to divorce it from any actual politicians in these questions. And we did that. We find this widespread accept, widespread agreement between Republicans, Democrats, and Independents on what is and is not acceptable. So, for instance, 88% of New Jersey, in both parties, say it's unacceptable for politicians to accept large gifts and travel from campaign donors. And when we contrast that with people who say it's okay for what what Menendez is okay, we find that a large portion of Democrats say they think in principle it's bad to accept large gifts, but they don't think Menendez did anything wrong. How many people find it acceptable for politicians to funnel state money into businesses owned by political allies? Well, this is the one we found the highest level of unacceptability among New Jersey populace. 93% of New Jersey say it's unacceptable uh, for politicians to funnel state money to businesses. And I think part of that is because money's involved. So it's very clear to people, wait, this is my tax dollars. New Jersey is so heavily overtaxed, they don't want to see their tax dollars going anywhere. We should note all these things we're asking about are things that have been alleged about New Jersey politicians in the last year or two. New Jersey is perceived to be, and perhaps is, one of the most corrupt states in the union. But at least our results are showing that people in New Jersey are not sanguine about it. Are there generational or de demographic differences in responses? I'm asking because I noticed that on fixing parking tickets for people, young people have different responses than older people. Right. So we ask about fixing parking tickets, which is kind of a classic thing politicians are supposed to be doing to help their political allies. 90% of New Jersey say that's unacceptable. Only 8% of New, New Jersey say it's acceptable. However, when we ask about the ask this question to the youngest voters, people 18 to 34, they're twice as likely to say it's acceptable. 16% say that that's acceptable. And I think that's most likely because that group's also the group that is most likely to get parking tickets and traffic tickets in the first place. So the idea that anyone could fix it for them uh, may be wishful thinking on their part more than anything. Compared to the other corruption-related scenarios, a higher rate of people responded that it's okay for politicians to speak to government agencies on behalf of friends or political allies. 23%. What do you think of that? Well, this is actually very close to what the politicians are supposed to be doing. Their politicians are supposed to be working as ombudsmen, uh, talking to government agencies on behalf of their constituents. And so people are more sanguine. People are more willing to let politicians do that. Uh, we're actually surprised the second highest rate of acceptability was for politicians passing bills that would help their uh, per that would help political allies. And the idea is here, this is almost part of what the politicians are supposed to be doing anyway. So the fact that they're doing it on behalf of political allies perhaps isn't as troubling. I think this also corresponds hmm. very nicely with, with what we're finding about, about Senator Menendez. The idea that when he says, oh, he contacted the State Department uh, on behalf of a well, campaign contributor trying to get visas for some of that contributor's friends, uh, people are not don't see that as nearly as much of a problem as the accepting of gifts and travel. Okay, thank you very much. Dan Casino. My pleasure. Great talking with you.